Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the idea of simple interest versus compound interest. I've got the formulas and I've got an example of each one so you can see the difference between simple interest and compound interest. If you're new here, my name's Jeff from Finally Learn, where I'm teaching accounting right now. And so we're in the Time Back Money series with all the different interest rates and simple interest and compound interest. So check out that playlist if that's interesting to you. Now, the simple interest formula is interest equals principal times rate times time, or I equals PRT. So let's look at an example. Let's say John invests $100,000 in an account that earns 10% for five years. So we're going to ask two questions. What interest did he earn, and what is the total value at the end? And that's what we call future value. So what interest did he earn? So I equals PRT is interest is equal to principal times rate times time. So what's the principal amount? Well, it's $100,000. i have already formatted it for dollars. Now, what is the rate? Now, 10% really is 0 0.10. So 0 0.1 or 0.10. So make sure you know that if you're uh, multiplying out, make sure you use 0 0.1 for 10%. So this is going to be 10% is the rate of return or the interest rate. And then the time period is going to be five years. So how do we calculate the interest? Interest is going to be 100,000 times the 10%, remember I'm using it as a decimal, times five. So what kind of interest are we earning over those five years? Well, it's going to be 100,000 times the 10% times 5, so that's 50,000. Now, it's going to be exactly $10,000 each year. Simple interest is interest only on the principal amount, and so therefore we know it's going to be 10,000 each year. So if it were for one year, it would be 100,000 times 10% times 1 would be 10,000 times 2 would be 20,000 and so on. So what's the total value at the end? The total value at the end is the 100,000, the principal, plus the interest of 50,000. So the value at the end is what we call future value or FV. That is gonna be 150,000. Now simple interest is easy to understand, easy to calculate, but on problems that have more than one year, typically we use compound interest. So let's think about the simple interest one more way. So let's say we started out with $100,000 of interest and we did a 10% interest rate. And we're going to take the 100,000 times 10%. We know that's going to be $10,000. And we're going to do that every year. So I'm just going to copy down the 100,000. So on simple interest, we never have to update the principal amount. The principal amount is always $100,000. we are going to use the 10% interest all the way down. And so what we're going to do is just multiply the 10, uh, get the 10,000 every time, multiply the 100,000 times the 10%. So I can just copy it all the way down. And so we know that our total interest is going to be 50,000. Okay, what I can do is do the sum of all these 10,000 amounts times 5, right? So that's 50,000. So what is our total amount? We did it in a different way, but you can see it's going to be the 100,000 plus the 50,000. So you know the total future value is 150,000. Because remember, simple interest is only on the principal. So take a screenshot. Stop the video. You can take notes on this if this is helpful. Now, the compound formula is calculates the future value, and we kind of back in to find the interest. So future value is going to equal to the present value times 1 plus the rate, and that 1 plus the rate to the number of periods exponent, so to the power of n. So let's look at the example for a compound interest. So this is, let me change it to compound interest. So John invests $100,000 in an account that earns 10% for five years. It's the same problem. 
what interest did he earn, and what's the total value of the count at the end. So we're going to have to calculate this a couple of different ways. We'll have to calculate the future value first. So we could say, what's the future value at the end of the problem? All right, so what is the present value here? The present value is going to be 100,000. What is the rate of return? Well, it's going to be 10%. I've already formatted that for a percentage. And the number of periods is going to be five years. So if we want to do the math on this, so we need to calculate what is the future value. The math is going to be 100,000 times, start at parentheses here, 1 plus the interest rate. And then we need to take that to the exponent to the power of 5. The way we do that with the uh, caret symbol, the caret symbol is attached to the number 6, so shift and then the 6. So the caret symbol means we're going to do an exponent, and so uh, the 5 years. So we hit enter, and it's going to be $161,051. Now remember, our simple interest was $150,000. Our compound interest is $161,000. And $51. So what's the value at the end? Well, the value at the end is going to be 161,000. So that's an answer. What is, uh, amount of interest uh, did this account earn? How much did John earn as interest? Well, um, he started with 100,000. So let me do the uh, 161 minus the 100,000. And so he has earned, in this account, $61,051. Let's do a chart just like we did just a minute ago. So we started with $100,000. And we had a 10% return. Then that's going to be $100,000 times 10%. So this account earns $10,000. Compound interest for one year and simple interest for one year would be the same, but then they start to split. They start to diverge uh, after year one. So year two is going to be a little different. So what we're going to do is take the 100,000 plus the 10,000. So our new principal amount is 110,000. We're still going to have the same interest of 10%. I'm going to copy that all the way down, 10% each year. But we're going to take 110,000 times 10%. And I can copy this down. And instead of getting a $10,000 interest, we get an 11,000 interest. So 10% on top of the 10%, so we get 11,000 rather than 10,000. So what's our new year three amount? What's well, going to be 110,000 plus the 11,000. So we're now at 121,000. If we take that times 10%, now we've earned 12,100, 10% on top of that previous amount. And we can just copy this down for the next two years. Let's keep going. And we'll copy this for the next two years. So what is our total interest that we've earned? The sum is going to be all these numbers added up. And remember, it's $61,051. We calculate that uh, just a little bit ago. And so it's going to be the 146 plus the 14. Or it could be the original uh, principal of 100000 plus the 61,000 of interest. So principal plus interest gives us our future value. Our future value is $161,051. Now, I've done one chart here to show the difference. So I use the same numbers, 100,000, 10%. And instead of stopping at five years, I rolled it out to 30 years. So what happens is every year we get $10,000 in this problem on simple interest. So it goes up to 400000 You think, great, I invested 100000 now I have 400000 But then if you do the math with compound interest, then you end up with $1.7 million. Because 10% on top of 10% on top of 10% is exponential growth. See how this uh, simple interest is a straight line? Well, that's just adding 10000 every year. Do you see how this line is a curve for compound interest? Well, that is exponential growth. Go back and look at the formula. The formula is the present value times 1 plus r to the nth. And if you do it times the exponent 30, 
then you have a bigger number and you're, it's exponential growth. So that's the difference between a simple interest and compound interest. We've got lots of videos on time value of money. I have videos on how to do time value of money using Excel, which is pretty powerful. So I'll link to that below. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Good luck.